AI algorithms are objectifying women's bodies. So the Guardian posted this article and in it they discussed the AI tools that are rating pictures of women as more sexually suggestive than those of men. And this AI is even tagging pictures of women in everyday situations as sexually suggestive. So these AI tools are being developed by big tech companies like Microsoft and Google. So their goal is to pick up on violent and pornographic content and then block it on social media before people see it. So two Guardian journalists then use these tools to analyze a whole bunch of pictures of men and women in underwear or working out or partially nude. And they found that pictures of women were rated as more racy or sexually suggestive than similar photos of men. So here we have two pictures of people wearing swimwear. The AI gave this photo a score of being 14% racy and it gave this photo a score of being 96% racy. AI looked at this photo and had 90% confidence that it was sexually suggestive in nature. And in these sets of photos, the AI consistently rated the female picture as being more racy. So they did some more experiments because they wanted to find out what exactly the AI was analysing in the photos that determined it as being sexually suggestive. So as you can see here, they had a man stand in long pants with a bare chest and he got a raciness score of less than 22%. But when he put a bra on, that score went all the way up to 97%. And so they realized that the AI was taking the bra as being inherently suggestive rather than recognizing it as an item of clothing that many women will wear on a daily basis, just as they would pants or a dress or a shirt. Now the next question is, why is the AI doing this and where did it learn it from? So basically the way the AI is developed is by using machine learning where computers learn from data. So computers aren't given a set of rules telling them how to do a task, they are given training data. So in this context, people are hired to analyze a whole bunch of pictures and give them a score. And then the computer will analyze the score the humans gave and try and find a pattern to replicate these human decisions. Now, the theory here is that the people who labeled those first photos might have been straight men who look at men working out as fitness, but might be inclined to look at a similar photo of a woman and think that it's suggestive. Now, whether or not that kind of bias is conscious or unconscious is probably another conversation in itself. So what does this all mean? It means that when AI is choosing which images need to be suppressed or even shadow banned, it is doing so with this built-in gender bias. Now this has widespread effects throughout social media, but one of the most notable is on those who rely on social media for work. And particularly, as I note in the article, people who have a chronic illness or a disability will often rely on social media as their form of income, and this kind of shadow banning can really harm their business. People can be locked out of their accounts, they can have their content removed from the explore page, and they cannot show up under relevant hashtags. Now I am running out of time, but this whole article is a really great read. I would highly recommend. As always, we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments and make sure to like and follow if you want to see more content like this.